Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Check out the link below, fool.com forward slash the smattering, to get access to the 10 best stocks to buy right now. Shares of SoFi Technologies have started to recover from the big crash after Silicon Valley Bank was taken over by the FDIC, but they're still way down from their all-time high. And investors are really tiptoeing around a lot of bank stocks right now, making sure they don't walk into a potential landmine. I'm Jason Hall. This is The Smattering. I've got Jeff Santoro with me. We're going to talk about SoFi Technologies right now, see if we can get to the bottom of whether or not this is a bank worth buying right now. So Jason, I don't own SoFi, but I noticed it was really affected by all the news around Silicon Valley Bank. So my first question for you is, is this a bank that potential investors should be worried about falling prey to the same issues that took down Silicon Valley Bank? I don't think there's the same kind of risk here and the numbers tend to back it up. So if you think about what happened with Silicon Valley Bank, it had this massive concentration of very similar deposit customers, right? All of these startups that were burning through cash, VC funding had basically stopped for the past year. So all of these businesses with massive amounts of money that wasn't insured all got really worried because of the potential credit losses in Silicon Valley Bank's loan portfolio. And they all ran for at the same time. They didn't even run. They just all grabbed their apps and, and, and hit the transfer button and wiped out the bank's deposits very quickly. SoFi is structured really differently because their deposit base is largely high yield consumer banking, people that are just saving money and they have their savings at SoFi and they're trying to get the best yield that they can. They're almost all below that $250,000 insured limit. So people aren't worried about losing their money if the bank gets in trouble and they're not trying to make payroll and constantly burning through it. So the deposit base is really secure in terms of the risk of some sort of a major panic sending a big run. Jeff, I think we also have to talk about the other side of it with Silicon Valley Bank that we saw and that was the loan portfolio that Silicon Valley Bank held. That's the thing that caused the run. So I want to talk a little bit about that because I tell you, I've been looking at a lot of bank 10Ks over the past week and a ton of banks out there have lots of mortgages or mortgage-backed securities on their books that they bought for loans that were issued in 2020, 2021, maybe even early 2022 at very low rates. And they're just sitting there and they've lost a tremendous amount of um, market value. And But as long as they can sit on their books, they're going to be okay. Now, the good thing is that SoFi has a very, very small amount of exposure to that kind of loan risk because mortgage lending is something that it's like a small part of their business and that they're just getting into. If you look at like their trajectory of growth, they started as loans, credit cards, right? So those are risky in a way because they're unsecured debt, but what's nice about those types of debts if you're a bank is the interest rates are variable they go up right so as interest rates are rising their loan book is actually yielding higher and higher interest with rising rates so they get some benefit from that they don't have this big book of fixed rates mortgages and things like that that are losing value that create risk so we also don't see the same sort of loan portfolio risk you have the same kind of uh, duration risk that every bank has. You buy money short, right? Because depositors can come back and get it any time and you lend it long, right? And that's how you make the money. You issue loans, five, 10, 15, 20 years. But if you look at the structure of its book of business on deposits and on the lending side, and it's pretty protected and it's actually benefiting from rising interest rates in a way that Silicon Valley Bank was basically undermined. So it sounds like a lot of the risks we saw with Silicon Valley Bank aren't big concerns in your mind with SoFi. And I think I know this about you. You just bought a bunch of SoFi. So what was it about it specifically that made you feel like it was a buy right now? I did. So there's a few things that I think make it really appealing to me. So number one, I, I believe it's very well run. And as much as they're pouring tons and tons of money into customer acquisition, and they are burning a lot of money as they try to build this bigger business, I think a lot of the characteristics of the tailwinds around interest rates and the way people are thinking about trying to capture yield on their cash is very favorable for them, right? So they're well run. They've structured a business that makes it really easy to capture those deposits quickly. And that puts them in a good position because of the kind of lending that they've prioritized and focused on, they benefit from rising interest rates. So you take those things together and it's the kind of business that I think if you're looking at owning a bank makes sense. They're really growing their deposit base really fast. And then you combine that with, with Magellan, their fintech product. It's a really high quality product that's growing 
at a very, very rapid rate as they provide financial services to other fintechs. So it's a lot of value there. And then you think about valuation, it trades for about one times book value. So Magellan is worth multiples of its book value because it's an asset light fintech product, which means to me that the, it tells me that the market is discounting the value of SoFi the bank for less than book value, right? And when you can buy a good quality bank that has the right characteristics and looks like it's relatively safe from kind of the risk du jour, and you can buy it at a discount to book value, I think it's a great opportunity to buy it. And that's why I've bought a lot more SoFi recently.